am heading towards my tour bus because I'm going on a half day tour of the Cliffs of Mohair. I wasn't gonna do it at first, I wanted to just be in Galway. I only have like a day and a half here, but they had a half day tour, it leaves at 8 a.m. So I'll be back by lunch and can explore Galway after that. Um, it's beautiful out here right now. It's like 7.30 in the morning and there's nobody out, whereas later in the day there will be many, many people. Um, so it's kind of nice to just walk around and see it right now. I'm getting up really early tomorrow too, so I'll probably get up even earlier and just walk around. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going right now. It's only like 10 minute walk from my hotel. I wasn't fully sure what to wear to this because it's not like other Europe where it's really hot. It's like a high of 65 every day. And the cliffs are obviously near the ocean. It's very windy. So I am wearing jeans and a little like silk cover up shirt. And then my black jean jacket so that I can take things off if I do get too hot. But the weather here is so nice. Like the seagulls are chirping. It just feels really, really good. This is literally the cutest town I've ever seen. I can't get over it. So I'm walking through Ayer Square right now. This is pretty famous. It's a little park promenade with pubs and things around it. And it's just, it's really cute. I think they're setting up for a festival, but look at it. Literally so peaceful here in the morning. I really recommend getting up early if you're here just to take it all in. All right, I see the bus. I will meet back up when I'm at the cliffs. All right, we made it to the cliffs. It's cold. <laughs> I'm glad I wore layers. It's still cold um, <laughs> just because it's near the water and it's windy. I'm just happy it's not raining because it was raining a little bit on the drive, but it's not supposed to rain until like after we leave. I have about an hour and a half to explore. Um, yeah, it's so exciting. All right, we are coming up on the cliffs for the first time. I kind of wanted to film my initial reaction to it. Um, <laughs> I'm so cold. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Wow, that is pretty. Are you guys seeing this? This is amazing. Okay, we're gonna walk up a bit. Um, I was taking a selfie and this Austrian man came up to me and was like, oh, do you want a photo? And I was like, yeah. And then he took my photo and then he was like, can we get a photo together? And I was like, me being the paranoid person, I'm like, is this a sex trafficking scheme? <laughs> but he was just like, oh, I'm a tour guide. I just like, I don't know, people. And he was very nice. And then he was like, have a great day. So I'm assuming that was safe to do. <laughs> I had to get my photo, so. All right, we are now walking up a bit to see another viewpoint. Um, I have my professional camera here as well. I'm gonna take some pictures soon. So I'm currently walking around with four cameras. I have my GoPro, which I'm filming on right now. I have my nice camera. Um, I have a disposable that I've been carrying around and I have my phone, of course. You can never have too many cameras, especially when you're at a place like this that's so beautiful and picturesque. And I've made so many fans up here. People keep talking to me, asking me to take their photo. I wonder, I wonder what. And I'm not cold anymore either. I'm quite warmed up with all the walking and content creation. So that's nice. Coming up on this castle looking thing. See it? I'm not quite sure the significance, but people are coming over here. So let's go take a look. So I think, I think you can climb this thing at the top. 
don't see people up there though, there's people going upstairs, so I'm not sure what they're looking out of. I'm not going in there, it's claustrophobic. I'm already pretty high up, but you can, you can climb in that thing. So there is a little section here where it's technically not a part of the experience, just some danger signs saying, be careful, you could fall off, but really you can't. It's just where you go and you can sort of do the cliff walk, I guess. It looks pretty safe to me and there's families everywhere taking photos. I just stood literally on the other side of it to get the view, the other side of the cliffs. So I recommend doing that. And I really still can't believe I'm here. Like, this is wild. This is the dangerous area, it's clearly fine. You have a great view of the Harry Potter cliffs is what I'm calling them. Gorgeous! So, fun fact is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince was filmed somewhere out here. While they're in the Dumbledore going in to look for another whole crux and it's super windy and stormy and it looks super epic and cinematic. I'm not sure exactly which area they were in but I can only imagine the amount of effort it took to get the permits and to film in this kind of location safely as well. I can do some more research on that but the Harry Potter cliffs are beautiful. So it's gotten quite a bit more crowded here since I got here at 9.30. We were like the second tour bus to get hard to see but over there is where all the tour buses are parked and it's starting to spill over. It's not crowded here like it is in maybe like Italy where you literally can't walk but I think coming in the morning or in an opens is probably your best bet if you want more serenity. Um, although it does look like the sky is clearing up more as the day goes on so a personal preference to keep in mind but I like getting here and kind of having it to myself in a way. This was easily a 10 out of 10 experience. I think it would have been cool to do the little cruise thing where you like get on a boat and go around it. I just wanted to have more time in Galway because I'm only oh because I'm only there for a day and a half. But I'm so glad I did this. I was not gonna do it originally. I was like it's just cliffs. I didn't feel like driving far, but it was only an hour and a half from Galway. Went super fast, and the drive here was also very scenic. See the whole like Irish countryside, and then you get here, and even though it's cloudy, like it still looks beautiful. I'm just glad it's not raining because that would be a little, a little miserable. Oh my god, look, some animals! But yes, 10 out of 10 experience if you're in Ireland, especially if you're in Galway, you have to come and do this. I want to come back with my family and do the little cruise thing. Um, Heading back to Galway now. I'm gonna get on the bus, listen to some Ed Sheeran, and maybe close my eyes for a minute because I'm exhausted. But I feel so alive here, and the weather is nice, the breeze is nice, and not cold anymore, thank God. It looks like the sun's starting to come out, so that's fun. See you guys back in Galway. Dave, are you I refuse to get my hair wet, so using my jacket while I walk to the van. I literally got here at the perfect time. I'm so pissed right now. I got here and it was raining like this. Alright, I gotta go. <laughs>